Well, let's read what all this said and won't um, copy and paste concerning the story of them losing key information and video footage on an, ev on a, an event that basically destroyed the life of an innocent person. Well, there must be some truth in here if it won't copy and paste. So yeah, they lose the footage, throw someone in jail because uh, they almost killed them on an unwarranted welfare check. And um, basically, I was just too old, too, uh, too old, <laughs> too sick from mold uh, to actually sit up in a chair. Oh, it's disgusting. This story needs to be told for a better tomorrow. If it benefits them, then they'll make up a story, put all kinds of lies in the paper about the person they almost killed on an unwarranted welfare check, deny you a trial by jury to fix the story, set up illegal surveillance on you for years, hack your device so you can't tell your story, put corrupt managers on the task of harassing you at work to try to get you to flip out, tell all the doctors in town to not do the labs or treat you for the physically related condition, have the doctors put in factual information in your records and not release your medical records to you, and then five years later, the defamation of character is so bad you can't even get a job in your own hometown when you co-founded the preschool and child care that's a better quality way better quality than the abusing cops that's for sure that a good amount of the officers bring their children to but that was before your chronic Lyme and neglected tropical diseases quite completely wiped you out they're called civil rights corrupt legal system here and people are supposed to have them and if you want to pretend to be a Christian and a preacher you don't go trying to destroy the life of your own daughter and then making it worse by putting all your thugs on the task of covering it all up. This isn't okay and it needs to be addressed on a higher level.